Hey, it's Chris from Style Factory here. In this Shopify review, I'm going to show you the key things that you really need to know about the platform. I'm going to highlight the seven really good things about Shopify and the seven bad things you absolutely need to watch out for. So stay tuned to find out if Shopify is the right e-commerce platform for you. Let's dive right into the good stuff first. 1. Shopify is easy to use. Shopify has been designed for a non-technical audience. You don't need to install any software on your computer. All you need is a web browser and access to the internet. The interface is pretty user friendly and you can use Shopify to build a very professional looking store without any coding being necessary. 2. The templates are good. There's a decent selection of free templates included with Shopify and they look great. They are all responsive, meaning they'll display nicely on any device. And if you don't like the free options, there's a wide range of premium themes available too. 3. Abandoned cart saving is available on all plans. Abandoned cart saving lets you identify visitors who nearly bought something from your store, only to change their mind at the last minute. Once you know who these users are, you can then send them an email with a discount code that encourages them to complete their purchase. The good news is that unlike many of its competitors, Shopify includes this important functionality on all its plans, even its entry-level one. 4. It's great for dropshipping. Dropshipping lets you sell products without keeping any of them in stock. You take an order, send it to a supplier and they deliver the goods to your customer. Shopify is one of the best e-commerce platforms for merchants who want to dropship because it offers a really wide range of dropshipping apps that let you sell lots of different goods from lots of different suppliers. 5. It performs tax calculations automatically. One of the challenges of selling online is that you can end up making sales in places with different tax rates, something you have to reflect in the pricing of your products. Thankfully, Shopify works out the tax rates automatically for merchants based in the US and Canada, and it also handles the EU's VATMOS rules on digital products really well. 6. It has built-in email marketing. In addition to letting you build an online store, Shopify lets you host a mailing list and send e-newsletters to it, and it lets you do this very cheaply too. 7. It's good for selling in physical locations. Shopify has one of the most comprehensive point-of-sale feature sets available. You can integrate the platform with a wide range of point-of-sale hardware like card readers, barcode scanners, receipt printers and tills. This lets you sell products easily in retail outlets, pop-up shops or market stalls and keep all your inventory in sync. Ok, so that's the good stuff. Now let's look at 7 things that might make you think twice about Shopify. 1. You can only have three options per product. Shopify is a lot more restrictive than other platforms when it comes to product options. There's a limit of three, so if your products come in lots of shapes and sizes, you might need to think about using a different platform or paying extra for a Shopify app that lets you create more options. Two, adding custom fields is hard. If you're a merchant who needs to capture personalized information at checkout, for example, text for an engraving, then you might get a bit frustrated by Shopify. Adding custom fields involves either adding some code to your site or again, paying extra for a Shopify app that provides this functionality. Three, professional reporting costs extra. If you're somebody who loves to pour over sales data, you're going to have to pay extra to get it with Shopify. Full reporting features are only available on the more expensive plans. Four, you pay extra to use a third-party payment gateway. If you don't want to use Shopify's built-in payment processor, Shopify Payments, you're charged a transaction fee on each sale. This can make things more expensive, particularly for users in countries where Shopify Payments isn't available. 5. Full point-of-sale functionality is expensive. Although you can do a lot with the built-in Shopify point-of-sale functionality, to get the most out of it, you'll need to pay quite a lot extra every month for a Shopify POS Pro add-on. This lets you use POS in multiple locations, print custom receipts, add unlimited members of staff, and more. But it's pricey. 6. You often need to buy an app to obtain a key feature. 
some key features that you might expect to be built into Shopify are either missing or a bit inadequate, and you'll often have to resort to using an app to gain the functionality you need. Examples include multi-currency selling, a GDPR or CCPA compliant cookie notice, and drag and drop page building. Seven, real-time carrier shipping is only available on the most expensive plans. If you want to calculate and show shipping rates directly from your shipping carriers, it's going to cost you a lot with Shopify. You'll need to be on a $299 or higher Shopify plan to avail of this functionality. Many competing platforms offer this at a much lower price point. So there we have it, the main good things and bad things about Shopify. There's a lot more pros and cons to discover, however, so do check out our full review on the Style Factory website. You'll find the details for this below this video, along with a link to a free Shopify trial. If you enjoyed this Shopify review, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest tips on e-commerce and running an online business. And finally, if you have any questions about Shopify, make sure you add a comment below. I do my best to answer all of them. Thanks for watching.